Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and the terrible events that happened today kind of hit close home to me. Uh, but if you didn't know, there was a shooting that happened over at the YouTube headquarters earlier this afternoon. And of course, me being a YouTuber myself, this was just a little bit more close home to me. I've been on the site for as long as I can remember, and I've been a YouTuber for about six years now. A good majority of my teenage years and just childhood years were on YouTube. And so like I said, the tragic events were pretty close to me and even closer to other youtubers because they personally know employees that were at the San Bruno headquarters but uh, I, I didn't know anyone there of course but uh, like I said there were some youtubers some big youtubers that personally knew these individuals and uh, like I said it, it just was a pretty big tragedy apparently there were multiple people that were shot and in critical condition so my thoughts and prayers go out to you guys now the person that shot up the YouTube headquarters was apparently a female and one of the initial motives that we heard was a domestic violence dispute but not much info has came out on that however the shooter did have a personal YouTube channel and Instagram and I've seen the content she posted on there and it was pretty bizarre to say the least she's a very outspoken lady about how YouTube is a dictatorship and they're censoring her videos by demonetizing them and putting an age restriction on her channel and uh, like I said she would go on these bizarre tirades and tangents about YouTube and here I have a picture of her holding up a giant sign that says YouTube dictatorship hidden policy policy, promotes stupidity, discrimination, suppression of truth, and then she has her website and it also says share for the truth. I can't post the picture here obviously because it probably will get taken down, but there's a lot of Facebook posts, Instagram posts, and YouTube videos talking about this stuff. She does sound pretty crazy if you ask me. Uh, she apparently is a big supporter of PETA and she is a vegan of course, which doesn't really fit the narrative and description of a typical shooter the media always covers. I really wonder if the media will take this story even further tomorrow because they really do like to promote stories about assault weapons, AR rifles. It's also important to note that the shooting was done with a handgun because apparently in California it's really difficult to get your hands on a firearm over there unlike it is in Texas or one of the other su southern states in the United States. I don't know if there will be heavy coverage by the media after this, after today honestly like the Parkland shooting was uh, but I don't know. Like I said the lady does seem pretty crazy and it it's pretty hard to stop a crazy person from doing something especially if they want to you know commit mass murder like this I myself am a youtuber obviously I've been affected by YouTube demonetizing my videos I've been affected by my videos not hitting sub boxes but I have never had the intentions to do something like this ever never even crossed my mind it honestly just really does suck because you know just it really seems like these events are happening more and more often now something needs to be done about this because honestly it just doesn't seem safe anywhere in the world right now like it's school at work I really do wish I can come up with an idea right now on how to stop this but the question is way too big for me that is way too big for an average Joe like myself to answer uh, but I don't know guys my thoughts and prayers definitely do go out to the people at YouTube and uh, the YouTube headquarters in San Bruno they, they must be going through a lot right now and I really do hope something can uh, come up here soon in order to stop these events from happening guys tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments I just wanted to bring you guys this update because again the shooter was apparently a youtuber who was upset about the site demonetizing her videos and not promoting them she did have around 3,000 subscribers or 5,000 I've, I've seen multiple uh, screenshots of her channel. I'm not really sure which one is the current one. I guess the 5,000 subscriber one is, uh, but she was a very, very outspoken lady about YouTube and uh, just her political agenda. So uh, her videos are pretty easy to find, honestly, on YouTube. You can go search them up. Her channel is taken down, though, but people have downloaded and re-uploaded the video. So if you are wondering about that stuff, then you can go check it out. Uh, but yeah, guys, tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments. But if you're watching this, don't go on my comments and say, oh, you're playing a video game that has shooting in it you know that has nothing to do with uh, with an event that happened like this today I mean I there's millions if not billions of people that play video games that have uh, have a gun in them and a lot of those people are not influenced to you know commit mass murder commit mass shooting so yeah it's not really gonna affect me I I'm a Call of Duty youtuber at heart but you know like I said this event that happened today just really struck a chord with me because I'm a youtuber I've been on YouTube for a really long time now and uh, I just really wanted to know what you guys think about this and just your you know your overall opinion so if you could please tell me that down below in the comments guys I really look forward to hearing your replies and uh, so yeah thank you for watching guys till next time I'll see you later